Friends, this is the circuit of differential amplifier and it uses two transistors T1 and T2. Now these transistors are balanced to avoid the problem of drift. That is the two transistors T1 and T2 are identical means their electrical characteristics are identical with respect to each other. Similarly these two resistors RC1 and RC2 are also identical that is their electrical characteristics, their resistances, temperature drift etc. They are identical together. Now the differential amplifier can be used in four different modes. We shall understand that first. Suppose you take both the inputs simultaneously. You use both the inputs simultaneously and take the output like this. Then this type of circuit is known as double ended input and double ended output. Now if you take the output across only single collector like this, then this type of circuit is known as double ended input and single ended output. If you short circuit one input terminal and consider only one input terminal to this circuit uh, with one output, then this circuit is known as single ended input, single ended output. Okay. And lastly, single ended input with double ended output. So in all there are four types of these circuits out of which we shall consider only this type of circuit, double ended input and single ended output. This is input V2. <coughs> now here we have to see that which term terminal is inverting input terminal and which is non-inverting input terminal. The output which is taken from the collector of transistor T1. So the base of T1 is considered as inverting input terminal. Because of the inverted characteristics of common emitter configuration in the transistor, when we apply positive going input at the base of transistor T1, then its output will be negative going like this. Suppose I apply here positive half cycle, then you should get a negative going half cycle at the output. So this input terminal is known as inverting input terminal. And this input terminal is therefore known as non-inverting input terminal. <clears throat> so it is clear that in inverting input terminal, the output is out of phase with respect to input and for non-inverting terminal, the output is in phase with the input terminal. <clears throat> now the gain of this circuit is suppose A, capital A, Generally, it is also indicated as AV. Okay, we can take A or AV, whatever. Now, there are two possible modes of this circuit. The first mode is known as differential mode, and the other mode is known as common mode. So, first of all, we shall see differential mode. Now, in differential mode, there are two inputs applied V1 and V2. These inputs may be from some microphone or something like that. Now when these two inputs are applied together, these two inputs are taken with a difference and then they are amplified AV times and you get the output. So we can write the output equation like this, VO is equal to AV into V1 minus V2. <coughs> now if V1 and V2 are equal in magnitude, but opposite in polarities, then you get VO is equal to AV in bracket V1 minus say minus V2 minus V1. Okay. In that case, you will get it is equal to AV into 2V1. Okay. So it indicates that when the two inputs are equal in magnitude but opposite in polarities then the gain will be simply doubled. Okay. Now there is another condition also in differential mode we have seen that the gain is doubled. Now in common mode condition we shall see in common mode
the two input signals are applied at the two input terminals inverting input terminal and non inverting input terminal such that v1 and v2 both are equal in magnitude as well as in polarities in that case the output voltage vo will be equal to a into v1 minus v2 but now v1 and v2 are both equal in magnitude as well as polarities so their difference will be essentially zero so you get vo is equal to zero so this equation actually indicates that vo upon v1 minus v2 is equal to this condition could be undefined that is equal to a but v1 minus v2 is zero so the output will be undefined so we consider here that the gain a is equal to zero okay so this circuit rejects <coughs> the common signals and amplifies only the difference of the two input signals if the two input uh, signals are different in their nature say in amplitude in uh, polarities in that case the difference of these two input signals is taken and you get the corresponding amplified output now finally <coughs> We have got two gains here. One gain is AD, that we shall say differential mode gain, and the other gain is common mode gain AC. Now, in that case, if you take the ratio of these two gains, differential mode gain to common mode gain, then you get a very important parameter of op-amp. That parameter is known as CMRR. That is common mode rejection ratio. Now we have just seen that AC, that is common mode gain, which was like this, VO, VO is equal to AV into V1 minus V2 and we have just seen that V1 and V2 both are equal in magnitude as well as in polarities, so it is equal to zero. So we say that the AV for common mode is equal to zero, so we say AC AC is equal to zero. In that case, in this equation, AC is zero. If you put that value in this equation, then the CMRR will be infinite. So, for an ideal differential amplifier, the common mode rejection ratio <coughs> is infinite. Thank you.